Let's go ahead and find the perimeter. So this one is easy. It's a horizontal line, so you can just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you're adding four sides, right, for perimeter, so one is six. What about this length right here? You have to use the Pythagorean theorem. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one. So how do you find this length? X. X equals to square root of 1 squared plus 11 squared, right? Pythagorean theorem. If it was a squared plus b squared equals to c squared, then you have to square root both sides. So it equals to square root of 1 plus 121, which is square root of 122. So what is square root of 122? Yeah, please take out your calculator and try it. Don't just copy this down. You get 11.045. Round it to 11.045. So it's adding 11.045. What about this length right here? Use the Pythagorean theorem. 246. 24689. If I call this y, y is square root of 9 square plus 6 square, which is square root of 81 plus 36, which is square root of 117. What is square root of 117? 10.817, round from the fourth decimal, that's five or greater than five. So 10.817, 10.817. Last one, here it is, two, one, two, three, four, five. So let me call that Z, square root of five squared plus two squared, which is square root of 25 plus 4, 29. So it will be between 5 and 6. So it is square root of 29. So 5.385. 5.385. So you add them all. Perimeter is the length around the polygon, right? So when you add them all, what do you get? 6 plus 11.045. Add it with 10.817 plus 5. 33.247 units and now we have to do the area so what would you do again just like the composite figure you can do the whole thing minus these three triangles or, is there any easier way that you can do? What if we cut it this way? You can do the triangle. You have the base. But look at this. Can we get the exact base? No. So then you can cut it with this triangle again, but it will be too many triangles, right? So for this one, you have to do this triangle that triangle, I was hoping this could be divided into one trapezoid and one nice triangle, but it didn't, right? Do you see why? What's not exact base? So then we have to do what? The whole rectangle minus 
this triangle. One, two, and three. That's not too bad, isn't it? Let's do it. So what's the whole thing? So area of this quadrilateral would be the whole rectangle, which is 9 by 11, minus triangle 1, triangle 2, and 3. So what's the area of the whole rectangle? 9 by 11, which is 99, minus... What's the area of the first triangle? It's not too hard. Why? Because we already have the dimensions, right? It's a base, 2 times 5, base times height divided by 2, which is 2 cancels out, so it's 5 minus. Second triangle, 9 by 6, 9 times 6 divided by 2, which is 27, right? 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 9 is 27. Minus the last triangle, which we were 1 by 11, divided by 2, which is 5.5. So when you plug into the calculator, you can add these three first and subtract it once, or just subtract them separately. 99 minus 5 minus 27 minus 5.5. So you get... So I put 999, so it will be just 61, right? Second and third will copy the previous expression that you put in. And you can just delete one of the nines, so you get 61.5, what, units? Square. Takes long, but it's not too bad, right?